All these men do is to sleep with us and take our glory and give us peanuts. Finally, Apostle Suleiman responded to Gislova and he said that he is the dragon as they are dragging him that he is also dragging them, that he's not going to keep quiet. Problem with his speech is that he kept cursing. I don't know why he should be cursing on his pulpit. He just responded to Gislova. He didn't respond to controversy that Halim Abubakar shared about him. He only responded to Gislova. He said he's going to make Gislova disappear. <laughs> this man is always making people disappear. And at the end, he said he is from Edo. I don't know what that means. The man where of speaking says a lot about who he is. He said that he's not scared, he's not disturbed, but obviously from his speech, it showed that he is very, very disturbed and worried. From the look of things, it seems the man is a fan of Gislova. How could he know that Gislova starts his statement with Twe Twe? And his members were there shouting and cheering him on. He went further to say that the names released by Gislova are very few, that he would have made the names to be up to 200. However, Gislova insisted that the names are legit, that he cannot lie to the world. Deep down, they know the truth, and it might sound unbelievable, but you guys should trust him, that he can never lie on their head. He went further to release chats by Kosi or Jacob. He said that Kosi is now supporting Apostle because she has collected small money allegedly. These comments were made by Kosi when a video surfaced online of Apostle saying that offering and tithes can't buy private jets. So Kosi has been looking for a way to collect money for her PIM job. Make this comment. She said, shut up already F. Just use the tithe and pay me off. Mini P pastor now you will see all those i introduced to him posting in private jet she went further to say if he dare reply <laughs> he can't dare to reply me because it's all true all the names go roll out at least out of 30 one or two will stand up for the truth and also she went further to say that he used to be her boss tete and he owes her salary he don't pay all journalists off so they won't write bad things about him and just love I didn't stop there. He also released a post made by one Steph Naya, who they claim to be an Hollywood actress. But I've never heard that name before. I've never seen any movie that she acted in. Though the lady came up with her own allegations about how she had Tristan with Iyabojo and Apostle allegedly. And after that one, Gislova also talked about Ghanaian actress Moesha Budong that he claimed that Meseke of BBN Niger connected to Apostle allegedly, who also was in relationship with Apostle allegedly. And now she's having mental issues in Ghana. The dragging of Nigerian Nollywood actresses and Apostle John C. Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministries continues from Vaugulan headquarters. It seems like this drama is not gonna end anytime soon. And this Stephnaya has come out to narrate her own story, her own experience. So she said that she has been very silent on Apostle's issue because she wanted to see how far he's willing to take this lie. She had to come to Instagram to put her story out there that she met the man of God or the God of man at the airport in Mombasa, Kenya, that he had kind of knowledge of her in Dubai on that trip. And he took her contact, called her two weeks after and invited her back to Nigeria. Cutting short her trip in Dubai, he bought her a business class ticket and sent her an address in Agungi area of Lakin to wait for him at his alleged girlfriend's house for threesome who she never knew till she got there and it happened to be the house of Nollywood actress Yabo Ojo in an estate called Five Streets in Agungi. She made her comfortable and told her how she doesn't mind whatever the apostle does as long as he keeps giving her money. He had just rented the house for her allegedly she said her black range rover was giving her problems so when apostle came in around 11 pm he drove himself in a black g wagon his driver drove a silver range one of his other cars after one round of knocking in iyabo joe's room allegedly he gave her the keys to the range rover that she should sell the black range off since it was old already and he gave her three thousand us dollars to send to her son in the u.s as he was said to be taking an exam and needed to pay some bills apostle gave her stephnaya five thousand us dollars and the key to a room at protea hotel to wait for him he came on the third day on his way to abuja and gave her another two thousand us dollars that he's a nice man and the sugar daddy of most nollywood actresses allegedly but for god's sake he should stop 
lie. At Iyabojo can say this is a lie, but in her heart, she will know it's true. How she told her that she doesn't make money from films, that she was doing it to keep her face, and she knows that Apostle carries her bill. Does she remember the house she told her Apostle is building at Osaka, and he had promised he would give her to live in? When she felt shy about their threesome, she told her that she, Yabo, arranged that for him always, allegedly, because it's what he enjoys, and even jokes that even if he wants to have with her and her daughter together, that she will allow him. <laughs> this is getting more and more interesting. People should start asking questions. It doesn't start and end with money. If somebody is parting with a lot of money, you that is collecting the money will also ask yourself, why is this person parting with this money? Because most people that suffer to make their money, they don't part with it easily. People don't ask questions. You just jump in, collect, and you collect problem. Your destiny will be hanged. Your destiny will be destroyed. So, Stantaya told Iyabo that for blocking her, she started saying other things, revealing other secrets, like Iyabo's mother, lived in the house with her and she knew all that they talked about no respect apostle greeted her familiarly when he came and she went upstairs before Letta retired to her room she did a boob job to firm up her boobs paid by apostle not only stomach she knows to do and she called kosio jacko into the matter nebiko leave this girl for me make i finish him i have fact okay there is fire on the mountain the epic reveal between nollywood love circle and apostle is still on going and if you are listening to stephanie tobo's interview with sahara reporters she also mentioned Triton. and he didn't stop there Jis lover also revealed that ghanaian actress moesha was linked to apostle by messi eke of big brother niger and moesha also got in touch with apostle that now she is having mental illness allegedly because of her interaction with apostle some of these girls go and they die because of the wrong men they sleep with. They take out our glory. But when God created us, God has given us all of us wealth and power. All these men do is to sleep with us and take our glory and give us peanuts. This is Moisha Budon. He used to call me Slay Queen of Accra. I'm sorry to the girls that I introduced to men. So you guys just had her. <laughs> In the midst of all this story, whether it's true or not, the lesson is that she has said it herself. Some of these rich men, they sleep with you, take your glory and give you peanuts. They call her slave queen of Accra and look at where she is today. People need to be careful of who they mingle with when it comes to SES. It's a spiritual exercise. And she also said that she's sorry to the girls she introduced to men that let God forgive her. From what she's saying now, it's like she served as a pimp also. She was pimping girls to all these rich men. All those ladies that she introduced to men, I hope the girls are safe wherever they are, that they've not encountered any big issue with their life. This is really mind-boggling young girls need to wake up it's not everything you see on social media whatever people flaunt you want to get we need more contentment in our society and even these celebrities there are so many young girls looking up to them and once you tell them that young girls are looking up to them they keep telling you i'm not their mother i'm not their parents they should take their parents as role model but celebrities should have it at the back of their mind that there are so many young girls who are also looking up to them and copying their lifestyle liposuction plexi surgery all these are in vogue now the rate at which young ladies do it is alarming people that are less than 25 less than 30 they're already working on their body it's because their celebrity their favorite celebrities are doing it they're looking at the internet they see what people are doing and they copy and do it so celebrities should also try as well to put a good image of themselves and nollywood industry should also try to act movies depicting dignity in level not just prince charming coming to marry one poor girl and the poor girl and the family will depend on prince charming the only thing they show to the girls in the society is how to depend on men how sugar daddies are the ones funding poor girls better act a movie where there are girls who are doing good job also so that young girls in the society will also understand that there is dignity in labor the way they are exposing themselves on the internet is like there is something we don't know about there is something they know that we don't know about let's see how it goes whether there is another thing that is going to reveal but i don't know why these ladies of these days they love money more than themselves young ladies need to be very careful 
Money is good, but love of money is the root of all evils. When you love money, you also think about your life. When a man is dishing out dollar, 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 so much money like this, you as a lady, you ask yourself one question. Why is it that this man is giving me so much money? Generally, people have to be more careful with what they do out there with some of these men that want to give the whole money in the world. So, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna sign off here, stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.